Hey, what is going on everybody? Beaker here. As you can see, I don't have my sunglasses on today as the Too Cool for Clash week is coming to a close, but we will still do a few more specials before it's over. So check out what we're doing today. We are gonna max the Barb King. Look at this. We almost have the 40,000 Dark Elixir needed. I am so stoked. This is a huge momentous achievement for me. On this Town Hall 8 account, it's gonna put us one step closer to a maxed Town Hall 8, which is so exciting. Uh, we're going to look for just a standard Dark Elixir raid here, sort of lazy Dark Elixir farming if you will. We're going to look for the easy raids, we're not going to go for anything too crazy. So that didn't have any. Um, four Dark Elixir, that's not going to cut it. We want at least uh, 500, I'd rather take 800 to 1000, but hey, you can't always have everything. So let's keep going here, uh, not quite enough here. I have been uh, finding pretty good Dark Elixir lately with the boost. I feel like most bases have had at least 800 if not more because when the storages have a little bit in it and the drills have a little bit in it it adds up to a pretty good raid usually here we go this is 500 but this is gonna have to cut it it's gonna have to do um, again we have a little bit in the drill and uh, the rest is in the storage so we got to hit both we're gonna start out on the uh, right here and take out that drill and then we're just gonna go from the top I think we'll see how it goes I do have a pretty strong army but I don't have a clan castle that always hurts uh, I just used my clan castle before this raid but hey at least I have the Barb King he will help this is the awesome army that I'm always using if you guys haven't tried it definitely try it um, the Giants and the wall breakers allow you to get into a base better than just normal barge can here we go we're gonna take out this dark elixir drill on the right side I'm going to actually get into that wall so I can throw down a few goblins. Goblins take out the Dark Elixir Drills so fast, and that's what i got to do. i got to take it out so I can get up to the top and get that uh, get into this base. i got to get into the core. I'd actually like to get the Town Hall as well to get a few extra trophies. Trying to get up to um, Gold 1 League, maybe even Crystal League. I've never been to Crystal League, so that would actually help uh, help me get a few extra gems from the achievement. So let's get going here. We're going to clear the buildings on the outside, and then we're going to just drop all our giants. I spread them out like that in case they hit a spring trap. Doesn't look like we're going to hit a spring trap, though. However, inside this base, it looks like we do have some traps. There's plenty of open space, and I'm going to guess there is some bombs in there. But looks like we are on our way to the core. We're doing okay. We're going to drop the Barb King here because he can hit some bombs, and he does not mind. Uh, we got a bomb right there. That's going to destroy so many of our troops. We're going to heal these giants to give them a little help. That was a devastating bomb hit, by the way. Wow, and now the giants are going out of the core. No! Okay, uh, plan B. Hopefully the archers will get into the core. I do have a rage spell, and if I drop those, that rage spell, those archers should get it. we got a gang of wall breakers going into the core. Rage them. Let's go. All right, the, see, the archers got it. I also have the backup goblins coming in, but... Archers got it. That was awesome. Clutch Archers, good job. So let's see if we can get the Town Hall. Um, doesn't look like it. We got some mortars raining down on the Archers. Too bad. Alright, but we do have the Barb King. I think he will pick up the 50%. We do want to keep the trophies up. Boom! 50%. Awesome. Look at that. We just got enough for the level 10 Barb King. This is hot. I am so psyched. I'm so psyched. Again, this is one step closer to a completely max Town Hall 8, which is what I'm all about. I still gotta do the walls, but really, then it's time for Town Hall 9. This is awesome. I'm so I'm so ready for this. I wanna be Town Hall 9 on this account because Town Hall 9 has the best stuff. I and mean, you can get crazy good walls, you can upgrade your heroes to 30, and you can get level 6 troops. I mean everything about Town Hall 9 is awesome. Let's hit this button. I'm so excited. Let's just do this. Yes! Oh man, whoo, that was exciting. That was, that was the most excitement I need for a little while. Seriously, I haven't gotten to upgrade a hero in so long uh, on my main account, so it's exciting to go through the motions again on this account. So let's go through uh, one more Dark Elixir raid at least. We need a little Dark Elixir because right now um, I don't have <laughs> much. Let's check how many walls I have left by the way. Looks like I'm three quarters of the way, or no, two thirds of the way through. I have 75 walls left to finish. That shouldn't take long. And then we are going to be a maxed Town Hall 8. Boom, I have a few things left in the lab. 
Uh, it's yet to be seen if I will do those. I'll, I'll do a few. Now that I'm done with the Barb King, I can I can you know chip away at some of those Dark Elixir upgrades. I would like to do the Hogs because when I do Clan Wars on this account, I want to have good Hogs. Hogs are devastating against a Town Hall 8 base, so I might as well have them. You know, I think you can get them up to four level four at Town Hall 8, so eh, that'd be pretty good. Let's finish this army and get in there and do one more lazy Dark Elixir farming raid. We're just going to go for something easy again. This is how I queue up the army, guys. I do three of each Giants and Wall Breakers. Then, um, what is it, about 12, about 12 of each uh, Archers and Barbs, and then five Goblins at the end. This comes out to uh, exactly the army you see me use all the time. I do it in... Yeah, I do it in a different order every time, but it's honestly good to have archers first in case you only use the archers. Say you find a really easy inactive base and you just use the archers to pick off some stuff, it's best to have the archers training first, but you can do it any way you want. If you plan on using the whole army, just do it any way you want, like I did there. I do plan on using the whole army right now because my barracks are boosting, so I kind of have to. If I don't, I'll end up with like a million wall breakers and nobody wants that. So let's find another mediocre Dark Elixir raid. We're not looking for anything crazy. Uh, that's pretty good, but eh, it's all the way in the core there, and I don't have Barb King. Probably could take it, but let's find something a little easier. We're being lazy today. Uh, as I said, we want to find easy. That's easy, but not much Dark Elixir. Let me know in the comments below, guys, how your Dark Elixir farming has been going lately. With these boosts, as I said, mine has been great. No, no complaints whatsoever. I've been able to find Dark Elixir really easy on uh, this account, and I've been able to find everything really easy on my Town Hall 10 account. Except for the weekends, sometimes on the weekends the loot is a little dry, but not that bad. You know, I, I can get over it, especially with the loot bonus in Masters League. Look at this! This is perfect! This is what lazy Dark Elixir farming is all about. You search until you find an easy, easy base, and then you just pick it off. Boom! Even if, if we weren't boosting, we could probably get this Dark Elixir and 50% with like half of our troops. Because, look at these buildings, they're all around the outside, we're going to just drop archers around the whole, whole base and we'll probably get like 20% from that. And then we can get this Dark Elixir so easily, this is sick. This is what you want when you're just doing that lazy Dark Elixir farming, no big investments, no stress, this is what it's about at Town Hall 8. This won't sustain you at Town Hall 9. At Town Hall 9, you gotta get those big Dark Elixir raids, but for now, we can just go easy on raids like this. I'm going to just start on the bottom right here, and basically gonna send in, I'm thinking like just a few Giants and uh, Barbs and Archers should get it. Uh, then I'm gonna probably go for that Town Hall as well, because this base has 34 trophies. Um, look at that, I've, I've already almost got 50%. Wow, just from sniping around the outside of the base. So here we go, a couple giants. This base is a, a bit of a labyrinth. It looks like all the, almost all the compartments are open, which uh, kind of is going to mess with my giants, but that's okay. We opened the wall and just threw a couple goblins down, and boom, that Dark Elixir tank is ours. Okay, so that's basically it. There's a little bit more. No, that's it. That's all the Dark Elixir in this base. So as I said, we're going to go to the top now and uh, see if we can get that town hall. I have a lot of troops left, I have a ton of barbs, I have a clan castle still. Let's just get a little spammy here and just throw everything down. I don't know if there's any bombs in here, it looks like there could be. Let's see. Eee! Uh, okay, no bombs! <laughs> there could have been some bombs right there. Uh, we just spammed all our wall breakers. Wall breakers are so funny when you just spam them. Look at them go. Boom! Get hit by that spring trap. That was awesome. And uh, it would appear we are gonna get the two star on a town hall seven. I'm so rugged. I'm so strong. <laughs> Archers, go! Let's get out of here. Alright, we're almost there, and the Giants are not going to pull out any three stars here, but hey, we got a 70% two star, and we got some easy Dark Elixir, and we got some easy trophies as well. Really easy trophies. We just got like 22 trophies very, very easily. Didn't even use our clan castle didn't use a spell either. So this is what the lazy, this is the definition of the lazy farming low investment. We didn't use a Barb King, a Clan Castle, spells, or anything. It was a very cheap raid, but we got 625 Dark Elixir. So, hey, it's not that bad. Try it out, guys. If you're having trouble getting Dark Elixir, just go for those easy raids. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Drop me a like, leave a comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I will see you guys next time on Beaker's Lab.